After enrichment, the uranium is shipped to a fuel fabrication facility where the enriched UF-6 is converted into uranium dioxide powder and pressed into small pellets. These pressed pellets are sintered, that is, partially melted, at temperatures over 1,700 degrees C to make a durable ceramic. These sintered pellets are stacked in thin tubes, usually of a zirconium alloy or stainless steel, to form fuel rods. The rods are then sealed and assembled in clusters to form fuel assemblies for use in the core of the nuclear reactor. The dimensions of the fuel pellets and other components of the fuel assembly are precisely controlled to ensure consistency in the characteristic of fuel bundles. Some 25 tons of fresh fuel is required each year by a 1,000 megawatt electric reactor. For most PWRs, the centered pellets are about a quarter inch in diameter and roughly three-eighths of an inch long. For the South Texas project, which is typical for PWRs, 426 of these pellets are stacked into a zirconium alloy tube 14 feet long to make a single rod. 264 of these fuel rods are bundled together to form a fuel assembly about 8 inches on a side and 14 feet long. Along with the fuel rods can be flux shaping rods, part poison rods, and flow controllers. 193 fuel assemblies are arranged in a rough circular pattern 10 and a half feet across and 14 feet high to make the completed core. Approximately a third of the assemblies are replaced on average every 18 months. To leave you with an idea of the power density of this fuel, consider that each pellet has the energy equivalent of nearly a ton of coal. If coal were burned instead of using the uranium, it would take 21 million tons of coal, enough to fill 210,000 railroad cars and a train 2,100 miles long to equal each core's output.